the distance formula. So basically, the distance formula is the following. Uh, let's scrunch this down a little bit. And we'll put some axes here. And that's the y-axis. And this, of course, is your x-axis. And let's put two points. Let's put any two points here. Let's put this point, which should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 in the x direction. So 7 units to the right of the y-axis, or from the origin, 0, 0. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units up in the, in the vertical direction. And let's pick another point. Let's use yellow. Let's put this guy down here. And we'll, we know that, that one is negative 2 negative one and so what I'm trying to determine is the distance between these two points so the distance between these two points along that blue segment I'm looking for D that distance so what ends up happening is there is this formula that you could this quote formula or idea that you could memorize D equals the square root of an x minus an x, so x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1, that quantity squared. And so you take the difference of the x's in square and difference of the y's in square. And so typically what I do is present you with this idea because I don't want to memorize something else. So if I can just attach it to something or recognize that it is something that I already know, then uh, I find that significantly helpful and it in fact is already something we know. So let's take these, take this point and draw a vertical line from that point to the same elevation or to the same height or the same y value as the other point. And then we'll draw a horizontal to go across and match and notice we have a right triangle there. So we have this right triangle right here, it's right angle there, and so we have this right triangle. And so what turns out is that this thing, the distance formula, is in fact the Pythagorean theorem. So how do I, how do I find the distance between, uh, in the horizontal only, the distance between these two values of x? So this value of x and this value of x. Well, wouldn't you take this value for x? Let's call it x2. So that means this is x2. And we'll call that x1. So this distance would be x2 minus x1, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it happens to equal 9. So if we do that this way, at 7 minus negative 2 equals what? 7 plus 2, which is 9. So that distance is 9. So we have a distance of 9 along the horizontal. If we do the same thing up here, take this y value, this guy, so we'll take y2 and we'll subtract y1. So this becomes y2 minus y1, which is equal to 5 minus negative 1, which is equal to 5 plus 1, which is 6. So this distance right here is 6. So let's check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, 0 to 5 is 5. But we have this one unit downward. So 5 plus that one unit is 6. So we get a unit of 6, or excuse me, a distance of 6 for this vertical um, segment, the orange segment. And so if we just see this as a right triangle, we end up setting up d squared equals 6 squared plus 9 squared. 36 plus 81 turns out to be d squared equals, what is that, uh, 117? And so if we take the square root of 117, uh, and I think that could just as well be as simplified as possible, the square root of 17. It'd be the same thing as if we substituted values into the blue equation, which is the distance formula. So I would suggest to you, don't worry about memorizing a new quote formula or new, you know, the distance formula. Um, just recognize that it is the Pythagorean theorem and figure out the horizontal distance between the two by subtracting the x's and the vertical distance between the two points by subtracting or finding the difference between the y's. Um, the question I have 
because uh, we're going to go into slope in a second, is does it matter which value you choose as x's and y's? Does it matter which values you choose as x's and y's? So I'm going to do this calculation again, but I'm going to choose the yellow point, the, far, the left one, as my x2 and y2. So then if I set this up again, d squared equals, and let's put x, put negative 2 minus 7, right? Negative 2 minus 7. We're going to square that plus negative 1 minus 5. That's my vertical. And it doesn't even matter if you mix them up because when I square this becomes a negative number, right? So negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. But because I'm squaring it, it does not matter if the number is negative or if the number is positive. And you can mix and match. It doesn't matter. So keep that in mind. You just have to take the difference of the x's and the difference of the y's, or I have to count the, the boxes, whatever you want to do. But you need to find the horizontal distance between the two points and the vertical distance between the two points. So this still becomes 81 plus 36 which again I believe is 117 and so we get d is equal to the square root of 117. So that is the quick and dirty on the distance formula. Hopefully it was helpful. Bye.